it is wet. It is damp. It's cold. Look at this. Driveway's starting to dry up a little bit. But it is wet outside. And there's standing water right over there. There's probably there's probably standing water everywhere. There's the tiger cat. It's gonna stay home today. There's the tires that I had put on the Great Dane. I took them back off. There is, I need to turn that light off. Those tires turned out to be awesome for dry grass. When everything is dry, um, they worked out really well. They are, I don't know, well you guys can see me, it's dark in here, I need to fill my water jug before I go. Um, those tires are awesome for doing, for when the ground is dry or when it's wet, but a little soft, not real soft. As long as you're careful and you make your, what flavor Mio do I want today? I think I'm going to go with grape. When you, uh, if you're careful with your turns and you're making your, boy, it's got to be really close to my face. Um, when you're really careful with your three-point turns, you're not whipping around, and you're good to go. But we've had a lot of rain in the last week, a lot more than we've had in the last month, and it's leaving tracks in my yards bad. Um, just driving straight, it's leaving tracks. Not a good idea. So I called my buddy up that has the tire shop. I said I got to bring these back up to you with the tires I took off, which are like brand new the regular turf tires. I said, I need you to swap these back out. I, I can't run these. I said, no, I'll, I'll put them back on during the summer next year. Well, he said, you know, bring them up whenever. I'll swap them back over for you, no big deal. So I talked to another friend of mine. I'm gonna set you down for a second. See if I can set you right in there. Kind of tip you up. <laughs> I stuck you in the middle of the paper towel holder. Um, so, great. So I called my buddy who owns a small engine repair shop that I take things to sometimes and he said I have a ton of those rims sitting around. Come and get some. So well the battery's low on this thing. I better charge this camera today. I'll switch to the other one in a minute. Um so I went to his house and he had two of them there with tires on them. They actually come off a golf cart. They're the same size. The tires and rims on the Great Dane are not that big at all. They're um they're pretty small. They're only eight inch rims. Um so anyway, I went to his house and he uh he had a couple there couple that were in really nice shape so I got those from him and I went up to my buddies and he put the old Great Dane tires back on the Great Dane uh, so now the old ones and those turf boss tires um, are all on their own rims so next summer when I decide that I want to put those back on it all I have to do is jack it up and change them out and I'm good to go and I can switch back and forth and make it nice and easy everything's on its own set of rims so that is the plan but anyway it's wet it is very wet and there's probably very little that I can mow today is Thursday I got half of my Wednesday list done yesterday before it started raining on me again um, so I have the second half of Wednesday's list I have all of Thursday's list and today's Thursday and it's not supposed to rain at all the rest of the day today or tomorrow and some of my weather apps are saying no rain for Saturday and some are saying it's gonna rain all day Saturday so I don't know we'll see it's getting near the end of the season though if I have to skip some I skip them I really don't like to because this time of year is the final push and I like to make as much as I can just before winter um, that way I have more put away for winter time, but it is what it is. You know, you got to already have that winter fund in place before now if you don't. And you don't, but, um, 
So this is my extra like money for the winter that I like to just, you know, do as much as I can. Plus, you know, as much as I love plowing snow, I'd rather be doing this. So I take on whatever I can this time of year. So I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna try to mow. I have the walker today and I have the Great Dane. So I'm gonna try to get done as much as I can whatever I can I don't know there's I'm gonna go to a couple that I, I think I should be able to cut as long as I take it easy um, and hopefully stuff really starts to dry up the sun's not even supposed to come out today it's like 50 degrees out it's supposed to be a high like 62 or something today and cloudy all day so with a little breeze so the window dry things out faster than the Sun will I really don't see uh, see it drying out very much or very quickly today at all anyway I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Okay, here's the test. Look at this yard. Soaking wet. These are big fat leaves that are also soaking wet. Look at that. They're drenched. Everything is drenched. So, let me show you what I did. Um, where am I going to put you for a minute? Oh, for Dennis from Grass Monkey. I already emailed him a picture, but right down here are little Allen screws. One there and one there. And that will control these walker decks left to right, how they're pitched. Um, I had a problem with mine not sitting right from the beginning. And Dennis emailed me and asked me some questions on. Um, I tried multiple walker washers in the front and in the back, these quarter-inch spacers and it still didn't help um it helped to a certain degree what i end up doing is replacing these little plastic bushings that go down through um and then i put these rubber bushings in which is called the upgrade kit that walker sells and it's what actually comes in all the new walkers now but it's called an upgrade kit if you put it on the old ones so that's what i did and then i adjusted those you can tell that one's down in a little bit and that one's up above a little bit. And that's what I had to do to make this deck sit right and cut right. But anyway, let me show you something else I had to do. Oh, where am I gonna put you? I will stick you. Oh, you're gonna sit right here for a minute. Maybe you are. Oh, the clamp just came apart. All right, just hold still. This I wanted to show you. Do you see this right here? This plate doesn't look stock, does it? That's because it's not. Um, this thing used to clog a lot and leave a lot of extra leaves. Now, if you still try to cut off too much while it's low, you will clog a lot. Or, let me explain that better. If you try to cut off too much grass at a low height when it's wet, it will still clog a lot. Um, Whereas the Tiger Cat usually doesn't. That's what I talked about in other videos. But the thing is, this plate, it's part of the deck. And when I look straight down on it, the one that was on here, it was wavy. It wasn't flat. It was wavy. And it was about... The best way I can explain this. The width of this, it was about a half inch shorter. Almost a full inch shorter than this. Um, and I talked to a few guys and had them measure theirs brand new on their new decks to tell me what size it was And that's how I found out it was shorter and plus like I said it was wavy So I had a chunk of this steel and what I did is I took my four inch grinder with a cutoff wheel and I cut it straight down Cut the old piece out of there And I cut this piece the size I need it and I welded it in both sides and now um, At the normal height I cut it not being too low it almost never clogs even when it's wet. Like I said, if you try to cut too low while it's wet, it still will clog, but um, the normal height that I was cutting at, trying to bag up wet leaves, it was clogging every time. So um, I didn't know that that would help the situation, but in most mowers it won't, but with walker mowers, they're built to such a fine tolerance. Like everything is key on these things. It's, it's exact. 
so I thought that maybe that could seriously be screwing up the airflow or and, and all the way that things were being sucked up through that chute into the hopper and uh, I believe I was right or at least partially right by fixing that because it definitely helped so let's uh let's bag this yard
Okay, still got that little bit to do, but look at all the leaves. Look at them. Everywhere. And you see how slow I was going. I don't know if the camera caught it, but I got passed by an old lady with a walker. <laughs> Where's the irony in that? Leaves everywhere. I don't know what you guys think about, you know, you want to know what walkers will and won't do. Um, my tiger cat would have sucked that clean. Wet or not, it, it doesn't matter. Wetter than that. I've already done it. It's, you know, and there's uh, keyboard warriors that have won all these walker forms and everything else saying, oh, mine will do it, this and that. Yeah, where's your video, pal? Because video doesn't lie. And there it is right there. Now, you saw how slow I was going. The leaves were wet, but they're not that wet. Some of them are kind of crunchy still. And they're, I was going slow as hell. You guys know I've upgraded to the 10 and a half inch blower. So with people swear up and down, it's the, it, you know, that's the best thing since sliced bread and that'll help. Well, the screen looks dirty. You know, when people swear up and down, oh, if you want to, back leaves with a walker you need to upgrade a 10 and a half inch blower no nope. it doesn't make a bit of difference not a bit you know my walkers love hate you know it, it breaks you know I, I have things that go wrong with it and uh, usually I can fix it no problem but you know I love the way it cuts I love how it falls the contour of the ground I love bagging grass with it um, but there's, I love the fact you don't have to have a blower on the side to bag grass. You can fit through areas, but you know, it, it, it definitely has its place, but the Tiger Cat has its place too with the bagging system without a doubt. So I don't know, you guys decide, you make up your mind. Is it worth it for you to have in your business? I don't know, it's worth, it is worth it for me because there's a lot of places throughout the year where I use it, definitely. And uh, I am definitely interested in a side discharge walker without the grass system. Because uh, I really enjoy the benefits of the walker more for what it does and not really for its bagging capabilities. Um, I don't know. You decide. Five o'clock. Okay. Now let me show you this. So I just mowed this yard here. See a big pile over there? And then that yard over there. And there's a pile way down the end there. Now, here's the thing. This yard is about dry as a fish turd rolling in the sand. Look at these leaves. Now there's like black chunky stuff over there. That's black walnuts. Like shredded black walnuts from these trees. Now the thing is, it's still left, even dry, it's still left all kinds of stuff. Which I didn't expect at all. I really, I thought once it dried out, the walker would pick more up. So here is, well, I'll tell you. Here is the issue that I think. I think that, well, unlike uh, unlike the uh, lawn care groups on Facebook <laughs> and 90% of its members, I can admit when I'm wrong. Um, and I may be wrong on the previous part of this video um, I got to thinking now I've been I've been mowing all day um, and it has been a very long day with lots and lots of leaves um, but I think that the walker just may be capable of 
doing a better job bagging these leaves than what I'm seeing here. I'm thinking that maybe it won't leave little pieces laying all over like that. And that might not be the issue. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen lawns today I have mowed by myself. And you see the size of my lawns. They ain't no shit. But uh anyway, so I think that the walker just might be capable of doing a better job. I was thinking about something when I was just mowing this. I put the big hole screen in the back of the walker in the beginning of the summer. And I remember somebody, somebody telling me at some point that when I was asking opinions on that in how it will how it'll do with uh with bagging if I went to the big hole screen in the back of the in the hopper of the walker and everyone said oh man you'll love it in the summer it's it'll lay grass in there better it'll let littler pieces fly out so you're not filling up as quick it'll it'll suck up better the grass um, wet grass and they were right it did it definitely helped um, but while I was just mowing those two and it was leaving more stuff laying all over I was getting really frustrated it dawned on me that people also recommended to me when I asked for that um, when I asked for feedback on that big hole screen I remember there was a ton of people that told me um, don't get rid of the small hole screen you're gonna want it come time to bag leaves it will bag leaves ten times better if you have the small hole screen in there and I don't I got the big hole screen in there I didn't even think about it I don't know if it restricts the airflow which causes better suction I don't know like I said these walkers are built to very tight tolerances it's everything's exact on them that's why everything has to be perfect. I'm not used to perfect. Um, I'm used to making shit work and making it happen. So that might be my issue. Now what I did, if you guys remember, I didn't go and buy a big hole screen. I drilled a ton of holes in that small hole screen and made them bigger. Thinking, you know, over the summer, I'll just, when I get them in and out, I'll, I'll pick up one of the small hole screens and I'll have it for fall. Well, guess what? I forgot. Happened to you? Happened to me. It always happens to me. I always forget. Oh my God, I forget everything. Seriously. What was I just saying? See what I mean? Oh, so, yeah, so I never got the screen and so now I don't have one. But, I do know that my walker dealer has a bunch of old scrap walker mowers sitting outside his building that he uses for parts. So instead of buying a brand new screen, I'm going to get a hold of him and see if he'll just sell me one of those used screens that's in one of those hoppers and I'll go get it from him. Maybe I'll run out there tomorrow morning. Things are going to be wet and damp tomorrow morning anyway, but it's not supposed to rain all day. And I was a, like, I was half a day's worth of lawns behind. I am now only two lawns behind and they're super easy lawns. So I will, uh, I'll have no problem getting my Friday list done tomorrow and then another two lawns with plenty of time to spare. So, um, I, if he's got it, I'm going to fly out there in the morning and get that screen. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know. So to be determined, I guess, I guess I'll make a part two to this and I very well may have aft up and screwed myself in the uh, beginning part of this video where I said the walker won't do this and it won't do that. I may be wrong. I, I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, hell, I'd love to learn the right way and go from there. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I very well may be because 
I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but or all day long when I was using the walker, but it just dawned on me when I was just mowing those two lawns. So to be continued.